So the last time we met, we had 137 days. So we have a half dollar here that's worth 50 cents, two quarters, that's worth 50 cents, 50 plus 50 is one dollar, is 100. Remember there are 100 cents in a dollar, so if I had 50 plus two quarters is 50 cents, I have a whole dollar right here. And then I have three dimes, 10, 20, 30. And then I'm going to skip count by fives because I have a nickel next. So 130 and now five more, which would make 135. And then 136, 137 because my pennies are worth one. So I said we had to add six days, so let's go ahead and add six pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now let's count our new amount. Remember we have 50 plus 25. Do you guys remember what 50 plus 25 is? Good, it's 75 plus 25 more is 100. Now we're going to skip count by tens. 110, 120, 130, 135, 136, 137, 138, 139, 140, 141, 142, 143. Okay, you see that? What coins can I trade? There's actually a few swaps we can make right now. Do you see them? Do you know what they are? Let's start simple. Let's trade one, two, three, four, five pennies for the coin that is worth five cents, which is a nickel. So I've traded my five pennies and now I'm going to put the nickel there. So I'm going to move these down just so we have space for the nickel. Okay, now I have a half dollar, two quarters, one, two, three dimes, two nickels, and three pennies. What other trades can I make? Good, I was thinking that too. We could trade these two nickels for a dime, or we could trade two dimes and one nickel for a what coin? Oops, hold on, sorry. What coin is worth? So I have two dimes and one nickel, 10, 20, 25. What coin is worth 25 cents? What can I trade those for? Great, if you said a quarter, you are, whoops, you're correct. A quarter is worth 25 cents. Here's the front of the quarter. And here is the back. Sorry, it's trying to focus. This is a quarter for Minnesota. Okay, remember they all, some of them have bald eagles on the back, some of them have the state seals or state, um, uh, like symbol on the back. Okay, so we have a half dollar now one, two, three quarters. Do you guys remember how much three quarters is? Remember, 25, 50, 75, and then if we had another one, it would be a dollar. So 25, 50, 75, okay? Now I'm gonna move my dime over just a little bit and my nickel over, and I'm gonna put my three pennies up here, okay? So, 50, 75, a dollar. Now we have a dollar 25. That's a little trickier to count than before. So 50 plus 25 is 75, plus 25 more is 100. 100 plus 25 is 125. 135, because I'm going to add 10 with a dime. 140, 141, 142. 143. Are there any other trades that we could make? Well, we could trade two quarters for another half dollar, okay? But I think that's the last one. 
So now I'm going to write the amounts in dollars and in cents. In dollars, I have to put a dollar sign like this. Okay? And then I have to put the one for one dollar. And I'm going to put a decimal point right there. 43 cents. Okay? And for cents, um, I can just write 143 cents. Remember, we write the cent sign and no decimal point. And remember, when you're writing monetary values, you have to only have one sign, either a cent sign or a dollar sign, not both. And if you're writing it in dollars, you always, always, always have to have a decimal point.